Welcome back to Ghost Pirate Entertainment. I'm your host, Kanan Becker, and today we talk about all the horror content coming to Netflix in October 2024. And with that, let's get to the list. Coming out on October 1st, we have Halloween 2018. And as much as Halloween Kills and Halloween Ends let me down, I do still think that this one is a really, really good sequel. It's not perfect, but in my opinion, none of the sequels are. But this has great atmosphere, great vibe, a really awesome Halloween look. Michael Myers is great in this. He's brutal and violent. He's really everything I want in a Michael Myers. Also coming out on October 1st is It Chapter 2. And as much as I loved It Chapter 1, Chapter 2 didn't quite live up to that same level. It's still a great movie and a really solid conclusion, but it runs a little long, it's a little bloated, it has some issues, but I think it's still a very fun movie. I think Bill Skarsgård is amazing as Pennywise. It's just a really entertaining watch. Hello. Please. <laughs> Another one that comes out on the first is Till Death starring Megan Fox. And this movie really surprised me. It's not a game changer, I'm not saying that, but it gets intense, it gets violent, it is really one of those that'll keep you on the edge of your seat. So if you haven't seen this one, it's a solid watch. We also have Yellow Jacket season one, and I've been meaning to watch this series for years now. I've heard people raving about it. I know it's considered a really, really good horror series. I just have never really been able to sit down and watch it. So now that it's being released on Netflix, I have easy access to it. So I definitely am planning on checking this out. ¿Qué buscan el hoyo? Tiempo. Next, we have The Platform 2, which comes out on October 4th. It's a Spanish sci-fi thriller directed by Galder Gasselaruccia. It stars Melina Smith, Hovit Kitschkarian, and Natalia Tina. After a mysterious leader imposes his laws in a brutal system of vertical cells, a new arrival battles against a dubious food distribution method. So I was really impressed with the first one in 2019. I just love the look of it, the style of it. It was surprising. It wasn't the most groundbreaking thing I've ever seen, but it also did have a lot of unique elements about it. I just watched the trailer to this one and it looks like they're definitely turning up the volume. It looks like a lot more excitement, a lot more action and things like that, which I'm not so sure is necessarily gonna make for a better movie. But this is just the trailer and you never really quite know what a movie's gonna be like just from a trailer. But there was a simplicity to the first one. It felt cold, it felt haunting. And I think that's part of what made it so good. It was dark and demented, but it looks well shot and the cast looks good in it. So fingers crossed, this will be another banger. Also on the fourth is another Netflix original called It's What's Inside. And it's listed as a comedy horror movie written and directed by Greg Jardin. It stars Brittany O'Grady, James Morosini, and Gavin Leatherwood. A pre-wedding party descends into an existential nightmare when an estranged friend shows up with a mysterious suitcase. So this is one of Netflix's big releases as far as horror this month. And it looks really good, but I'm hearing people talk about it as this year's Talk To Me. And that's a high bar, so I'm not really quite sure it's gonna live up to that. But from the trailer, it looks really interesting. And you know I'm a sucker for existential horror. Like, that's one of my favorite subgenres. And even though it's listed as a comedy horror movie, it looks light in the comedy and more heavy in the horror. So it looks like it's gonna get pretty dark and go pretty crazy as it goes. But from the buzz I've been hearing, this is one you should definitely put on your list.
Let him get a little closer to you. Inhale. And on my mark. Fire! See For Me comes out on October 6th. And it's a smaller movie, limited budget, but really well performed. And I like the idea of it. We've seen a number of movies that do things along the lines of this, but this one is really exciting and gets pretty damn intense. Now we move to October 11th for another Netflix original. This one comes from the Philippines. It's a post-apocalyptic survival horror movie called Outside. Written and directed by Carlos Ledesma, it stars Sid Lucero, Beauty Gonzalez, and Marco Mesa. It tells the story of a family trying to outrun a zombie outbreak by returning to the father's childhood farmhouse. So at the time of recording this, I haven't found an English subtitle trailer yet. So Netflix may have just not dropped one yet, or for whatever reason, I just can't find it. I don't know, but I couldn't really follow exactly what this movie's about, like at least trailer wise, but it does look incredibly well shot and really intense. And I've grown pretty tired of zombie movies. Like a lot of us, there just been so many over the last decade, but when they're done well, and they're actually scary, I'm still on board. And this one looks like it has potential. It looks gritty and brutal and pretty savage. So we'll see. I'm excited at least to check it out. Hello, Sydney. It's an honor. So Scream 5 or Scream 2021, whatever you want to call it, also comes out on the 11th. I'm guessing most of you guys have already seen this, but if for whatever reason you haven't yet, I think it's a lot of fun. I really love what Radio Silence did with Scream 5 and 6. It's a shame they're not coming back for number 7, but we'll see. We'll see what happens with 7. I am really on the fence. I, I kind of... I don't know, my excitement for the Scream franchise has dimmed some with just the way everything has panned out over the last year or so with the franchise. A Quiet Place Part 2 also comes out on the 11th, which is another one that I think probably most of you guys have already seen. I think it's good. It doesn't really live up to that first movie, but it's intense. It's well shot, well acted, you know, a great cast. So if you haven't seen it, I think it's another one that you should definitely put on your list. Nothing. Don't start again. Where is she? Now we move to October 14th for another Netflix original called A Sacrifice. It's a psychological drama thriller written and directed by Jordan Scott. It stars Eric Bana, Sadie Sink, and Sylvia Hooks. A social psychologist investigates a local cult connected to a disturbing event while his daughter becomes embroiled with a mysterious local boy. What happened here? It wasn't accidental. They killed themselves in shifts. And then there's this. Sacrifice is redemption. This is another one that Netflix is excited about and been promoting. It looks really well done. Definitely less horror, much more crime thriller kind of thing, but it does look like it might go pretty dark. Either way though, it looks well acted, well shot. I mean, it looks like it's gonna be a really good movie. It's one I'm definitely excited to check out. I need you to learn how to say you're sorry. And you're gonna learn through violence and retribution. Also on the 14th, we have Unhinged from 2020 starring Russell Crowe. And this is a movie that I think really flew into the radar. And I think it deserves a lot more attention than it got. It's not anything that's like a game changer or nothing like that. It's not something to take overly serious, but it has kind of an old school vibe to it. Something that feels more like something we would have seen in the 90s, like right there with speed. It, it's one of those fun thriller kind of movies. Russell Crowe just plays a great villain in it. He's so much fun to watch. So if this is one that you've missed, I think it's a great pick. What? 
Coming out on the 15th, we have Abandoned from 2022. Directed by Spencer Squire, it stars Emma Roberts, John Gallagher Jr., and Michael Shannon. After a young couple moves into a remote farmhouse with their infant son, the woman's struggle with postpartum psychosis begins to intensify as the house reveals secrets of its own. This door won't open. Yeah? I thought they just had a daughter. It's really weird because I have not seen this movie or even heard of this movie. And it's strange because it has a really, really good cast. So I don't know why I just didn't see this. I'm guessing it had a release since it came out in 2022. I don't know. It's just a strange one. And at least from the trailer, it looks pretty good. I mean, I don't think it's anything that's going to blow you away. But as far as like a weird haunted house creepy kind of movie this one looks interesting especially with this cast so i'm definitely going to be checking this one out now we go to october 25th for another netflix original it's a thriller called don't move it's directed by adam schindler and stars kelsey asbill finn whitrock and daniel francis it follows a seasoned killer as he injects a grieving woman with a paralytic agent. So she must run, fight, and hide before her body shuts down. Have you started to feel it yet? What did you do to me? Just a special relaxant to make things easier on both of us. This one looks intense and definitely a nail biter, one that's gonna keep you on the edge of your seat. It looks like it's gonna be really well done too. Especially if you're a fan of the hyper real horror thrillers, this is one you should definitely keep an eye out for. On October 30th, we have another Netflix original, and this is their big like Halloween release. It's called Time Cut. It's a sci-fi slasher directed by Hannah McPherson. It stars Madison Bailey, Antonia Gentry, and Griffin Gluck. A high school student accidentally travels back to 2003 and decides to stop the serial killer who killed her sister. So this definitely looks like it's gonna be angled towards the teen, younger audience. It is a slasher, so who knows, but it looks incredibly close, at least the premise, to Totally Killer from last year. And I loved that movie. I thought that was phenomenal. But this is, I don't know. It just looks a little bit like a generic ripoff. But we'll see. I mean, it is their Halloween release, so they got a lot riding on this. So I don't know. Maybe it'll be a fun popcorn kind of horror movie, a slasher that you just don't take too serious. So I'll try to keep an open mind and give this a look when it comes out. So now I'm just gonna give you five movies that I think are perfect for this time of year that are available right now on Netflix. First is The Autopsy of Jane Doe. A lot of horror fans have seen this, but it still doesn't really get the credit it deserves. It's also a really good rewatch because it's just so moody and atmospheric, very, very creepy. I think it's a perfect pick for the spooky season, especially for anybody that hasn't seen this yet. Another one that doesn't get the recognition it deserves is my next pick, and that's Ouija Origin of Evil from 2016. This is a Mike Flanagan directed movie, and it is so good. It's just frustrating because the first one, Ouija, was just not very good. So when this came out, just having it attached to that I don't think it really ever got the recognition it deserved. But I'm a huge fan of Mike Flanagan. He just doesn't miss. Anything he touches seems to turn to gold. But this movie is emotional as well as creepy and has a lot of really eerie atmospheric moments throughout. His House is from 2020, and this is one of the best movies, 
period, as far as horror on Netflix. It's another one that just hasn't ever really got a wide audience. But this movie is chilling, it's haunting, it'll stick with you after you're done watching it as well. Some of the imagery and scenes in this will forever stick with me. But it has a real air of mystery throughout it as you're trying to figure out what's going on. It's about a refugee couple from South Sudan who escape and make their way to the UK, but it follows them as they try to adjust and deal with the harrowing things that they've gone through. But as things go, they start to discover a mysterious evil that's just lurking in the house. But I think this movie is incredible. It's well acted, well directed. Everything about it is just fantastic. And like I said, it's something that'll stick with you. No One Gets Out Alive is a 2021 British horror movie directed by Santiago Maghini from a screenplay by John Croker. It stars Christina Rodlow and Mark Mencheca. Desperate and without documentation, a woman from Mexico moves into a rundown Cleveland boarding house. Then unsettling cries and eerie visions begin. What have you seen him? There's something wrong with this place. This is a moody, creepy, really well done, supernatural kind of movie. It just has a lot of layers to it, just the way that it looks. It very much has that feel of a haunted house, but it's in a unique kind of situation because it's in this big boarding house and there's different rooms and without spoiling anything, different things that are going on in each of these rooms. And the end of this movie in general, the special effects that are done and just the, the thing the thing that's in this movie I think is really creative and a lot of fun. And last up is just a fun one. It's called Nobody Sleeps in the Woods Tonight. It's from 2020 and it's a Polish horror movie, but it's very much a throwback slasher. So that's why I wanted to put it as the last pick on this list because if you're a fan of Friday the 13th and you're looking for something to just have some popcorn as we get closer and closer to Halloween, I think this is a fantastic pick. And it's not as cut and dry as just a killer walking around like Jason killing people. There is a little bit more to it than that. I don't want to spoil it, but it does get interesting in the directions that it takes. Yes, don't kill. Either way, I think it's a perfect pick for this Saturday night. So do yourself a favor this October, pick one of the movies off of this list, grab your popcorn and your candy corn and enjoy. And I wanna give a huge, massive, enormous thank you to the Ghost Pirate crew, to you guys over on Patreon and to the channel members over here. You guys mean so, so, so much to me. And if you would like to find out how you can help support this channel over on Patreon, there's a link down in the description. Or you can become a channel member by clicking on that join button down there and help the channel out that way. But like always, thank you so much for watching. Please crush that like button. And remember guys, horror can be fun. And if you enjoyed this, click right here to watch me talk about 10 horror movies that I think will help get you into the Halloween spirit. And I'll see you guys next time.